I went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out so eventually I know you mentioned in your book that one of your uh, big homies, Mike, you know, who was actually a football player at San Jose State, right? Yeah, you read that you know? book. Hey, you read that <laughs> I, I read book. the book. You know what I'm saying? I read the book. You know, he was the one I wonder for why the more first people, time. More people ain't read that book. Hey, I can't boy, believe. Wait, wait. You, you, you came and bless your, your, your boy with, you know, an appearance. And, I and was you like, read it. I, I had to. I had to. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It was a must. My word. Brother. What you think about it? It was great. It was great. You know, and I think I I think I really enjoyed it for the most as well as because I come from the same, you know, city you come from. So it makes me be even more interested in, man, how did Freeway come up in this, you know, same city that I grew up in and just hearing your steps and things like that. It's a great book no matter what. And it was real. But it was real. It was real, you know, so. I, I tried to open, you know, I tried to open myself up, you know. I, I, felt, yeah. I felt it was important for people to to get to know me. Yeah. And get to know the dope game. Uh, uh. Because dope plays such an intricate part of our society that a lot of times uh, people were making decisions out of ignorance about something that's so big in, to, in our communities. Yeah. You know, so when, when you're dealing with this stuff, you can't be making mistakes. Yeah. You can't be guessing. You know, you got to be on point because there's going to be a lot of people that's affected by whatever decision is made. Yeah, you right about that, Freeway. I mean, but you was asking me about Mike. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so no, no, you good, you good. So going back to Mike, you know, he was the first one to introduce you to cocaine, basically in person. Yeah, in person, right? So how did how did that whole situation come about? You know, man, I just got busted for for GTA. I had a chop shop. Okay. So I just got busted, and I'm sitting on my mom's porch, like, damn, they got my hustle. Yeah. Yeah. I can't steal no more cars because I'm fighting a case. I'm fighting a grand theft auto case. What are you going to do with yourself, Rick? Uh. And I'm sitting there giving myself a pity party. Oh, man, I ain't going to make no more money. Uh, life is over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 18 years old. I'm my life over, right? Yeah. So Mike called me. He was like, man, what you doing? I was like, man, I ain't doing nothing. He said, man, won't you fly up here, man? Uh. And uh, we just started talking, and next thing you know, he said, I got the new thing, and he laid it out on the table, and it was cocaine. Uh. Uh. And that's kind of like where, now, when that first step right there happened, right away did you get into now going out yeah, there I and trying to make money? Day. or I started that day. Wow. How was that experience? You know, the first day, Freeway <coughs> Rick, that, you know. The first time I, I ever snorted cocaine. I snorted, I snorted something that day. Okay. He laid out the lines on the table, me and Ali. We both we both hit it. Ali hit it before me, uh. you know, because I was still a little bit reserved. Like, you know, but then after <laughs> Ali hit it, I said, shit, my man hit it, didn't do nothing to him. Yeah. He didn't fall out on the floor and go to kick and scream, and, you yeah. know, probably ain't going to do that to me. So I hit it, and uh, uh, Mike gave us a sample. You know, to take and show around, and uh, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. The wow. rest is history. Wow, you ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, from that, you know, because from, from your book, you know, I know that isn't what really got you really, you know, going into that direction with, you know, you know, having the money to do what you had to do. So I remember in your book you talked about you stole a car from the junior high school that you used to, mm -hmm. you know, so go to and things like that, right? Yeah, we to, didn't to, have the money. So you, you Bret Hart Junior High School to sell parts, right? Yeah, Bret Hart Junior High School, the Bret same Hart one school. that I was yeah. telling you about. Yeah, yeah. So, so after selling those parts, I believe you got like three hundred together, right? Yeah, we sold. We sold. It was some A wires and bulbs. The car okay. was blue with a black vinyl top. I ain't yeah. gonna never forget that car. Yeah, yeah. I forgot <laughs> a lot of stuff. I ain't gonna never forget that car. Yeah, yeah. So, so me and Al, we had been out all night uh -huh. looking for a lick. We trying to okay. steal something so we can make some money, get us an A-track. Because Al had just got out of j out of jail, and I was telling him about the weed, I mean the cocaine, and, uh, <laughs> you know, that weed on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. You know, sometimes you. you just be having something on your mind, man. You uh -huh. know, I'm building my marijuana grow right now, so 
Yeah. Or I'm stuck on that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me and I have been out all night looking for cars or something to steal, man. We don't care what it is. As long as we can get three hundred and fifty dollars, we gonna yeah. get it. Yeah. So yeah. man, we about to call it a night, the sun just about coming up. We've been out all night. All night. Since ten, eleven o'clock. We've been out hunting. Oh, uh, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We done stole some gas. <laughs> we didn't even have money for gas. We done stole some gas. Yeah. And um we going in and we passed by my boy house to see what he doing. Cause we know he probably been out all night too. So we passed by and uh, we hollered at him for a few seconds and then we pull off and then we go to the house and go to bed. Uh. And I look, I say, ah, look at here. He said, them AYs and bulbs, that's $500. Uh. Probably was a janitor's car. Yeah, yeah. I said, man, give me the snatch bar. Yeah. So I grabbed the snatch bar. I went and door locked the car with the vice grips. Bam, hit the lock. I jumped in, screwed, screwed the screw in. First, I broke the, 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 the little fly on the, on the, on the ignition with a screwdriver. Okay. You gotta have a certain screwdriver to break it. Bam, I stuck the screwdriver in there, break it, and screwed the snatch bar in. Boom, ignition came right out. Uh. Took the 3 8 hit it. Sucker wouldn't start. Uh. Damn, we right here. We done disalarmed it, everything, and it won't start. So we go back, jump in the car. I mean, we come, gotta come up with a plan. What we gonna do, huh? I said, man, we gotta go get a tow truck. So now we hunting for a tow truck. <laughs> so we rolling down the street. All of a sudden, bam, that one is right there, hanging out the driveway. Boom, the same thing, don't like it, bam. Snatch ignition out. Psh, Back it out the driveway, go hook up to the deuce in the quarter, put it out the driveway, put it on the one way, strip it, strip it, boom. Took that money, bought an A track, and we ain't never looked back. Uh. I had to show him that I was a man.